Hello, my name is Adrian Babalinski, and today I'm here with the uh, Leap Motion UI controls. And this video is going to show you how to set up the Leap Motion UI, or the Unity UI for Leap Motion, uh, for any future update. I know that they recently pushed out an update that makes this demo scene here uh, kind of useless because they changed the hand controller script. And this video is going to kind of help you set it up. Just in case anything else changes, there is an update on the way, but that takes a little bit of time. So in the meantime, let's get started. So I grabbed the canvas from the scene. Uh, I don't want to port the whole hand controller because that seems a little bit tedious and there's a couple of things that I still need to play around with. So I just made a little prefab of the canvas here. Now I'm going to go into the Leap Motion uh, desktop because I don't have my Oculus plugged up. Uh, and here we have our hand controller. It looks nice. So let's drag and drop our can our new canvas or our, our canvas prefab. I'm gonna drag and drop here, I'll zero this guy out, and we see that's pretty pretty big. So we're gonna uh, make that guy smaller right here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Let's let's say that's good. So let's look at that. It's not good enough. Let's make it a little smaller. Um, and again, this is for demo purposes, so I guess you'd be a little bit more uh, careful. And see what's going on. So here, let's do it again. Beautiful. So I'm gonna drag and drop here, so I can just put it straight dab in the middle of the leap motion, and I'm gonna just drag this puppy up. Oh, there you go. So hopefully, there you go. That's beautiful. I'm gonna move it back a little bit too. Maybe move it up some. Let's let's hope that works. So after that setup, you're pretty much set. You need to have an event system because it is Unity UI. So we're gonna drag and drop an event system here, call it through here. Uh, we also need the Leap Motion UI. So it's gone our scripts from the Unity UI Leap. Drag and drop the Leap event system, and then we also need the uh, an auto add Leap interact is fine. We also need a script called Assist, and that will put the interactable objects on the fingers. Uh, so let's hit play and it should work. Here's my hand and here it goes. So it does put it on the third bone like intended and bam, these hands are pretty huge. So I would play around with it a little bit more, but that's how you would set it up on future updates. And you'll see this as an update in the asset store pretty soon. Thank you. And if you enjoy the package, please rate it.